currently in the world, you have several life-threatening diseases. These diseases travel through the blood, some of them. Not all of them, but some of them. Now imagine, imagine for a second, there was some way to attract all the disease-infested blood cells of a body. Now say in that attraction, you use it to extract the blood cells. And how do we form this attraction? Using an electromagnetic field magnet set to the frequency of the electromagnetic signature of the disease. Now we're going to back up a second. Electromagnetic signature, what is that? Well, every living thing carries a certain electromagnetic energy to it. An electromagnetic frequency, uh, it's, it's like a signature file for all life. Every life contains a different signature. And many lives contain many signatures and create a stronger voltage and different voltage. Now, a disease would carry a specific electromagnetic signature. Now, say if we can extract that from the blood using a needle, insert it into the vein, a compartment after the needle, and a magnetic roller on the, on the end of the, from where the compartment enters from the connected to the needle. As that energy, that signature, that electricity, sets the frequency of the disease in the blood, begins to be attracted to the ball, we extract that disease. And it scrapes off into this chamber which holds on to it. Now, it's not, you know, the perfect solution. It might take a long time before the disease is minute enough in the blood not to be noticed, and it would be a continual treatment. But it is a treatment to treat those with such diseases as AIDS or uh, any other blood-related disease. And how did it work? By the attraction of the electromagnetic signature of the disease to the, into the chamber. Electromagnetic signature. And why does everything have an electromagnetic signature? Because it generates electricity and magnetism. The magnetism acts as the container for the electricity. And attracting that same magnet to another magnet and just cleaning out the blood, rolling it out, until that disease was pretty much removed from the blood. There might be trace amounts left, but, you know, that's why you have to go in for treatment. An idea, a possibility, a method that is possible for curing what? Think about it. Is it possible? Some scientists would say yes, some would say no. What do you think? I think it's possible, and I think it could be done with the proper research and funds. More than I have right now, but you know, a possible ability to aid in, in a direction to possibly go in curing diseases of the future and of the present. By their electromagnetic signature by their electrical impulse, by the, the frequency in which they exist in, extracting them. But not only can you extract, now imagine if you charge the electromagnetic energy of a system of cells called the immune system, and actually strengthen up the immune system by charging up its electro, giving it more energy through elect electromagnetic energy, not just electricity alone, but also magnetism. With that magnetism going in there and just sending in frequencies of that specific energy that you wanted to increase in the body or decrease. This is for more of those diseases in which, you know, like a, a, a cancerous tumor or something like that. 
take it and you uh, apply a negative charge to that tumor to decrease its growth rate while increasing the rate of the growth of the lungs around it by setting different frequencies of electromagnetic energy into the body. And these different frequencies then either stimulate or decrease the growth of different elements within and, and systems within the human body. Just as they can be extracted through the blood, they can also be stimulated in growth or stimulated to decrease in growth. Some possible futures of some possible ways of curing disease that could be at accomplish through the proper research and time taken. And I'm not talking about electrotherapy. No, this is electromagnetic. It's a combination. The magnetism acts as a buffer and a translator. And you set it to the frequencies that you want to adjust. To help cure by a, of a, of, by a positive frequency and a negative frequency to decrease the growth or extract that growth through terminal. But it's a science that has not yet been fully researched. So there's a lot of research in this field, and a lot of research still needs to be done. But, you know, if you're looking to do that kind of research, I'd be more than willing to help you out. I mean, I don't really have the credentials, you know, to get a doctor or a medical or, or, or treat you. But I know that these methods would work through proper research and diagnosis. Thank you for your time. Thank you.